Now let's try making eye indentations. Using the same tail end, all you have to do is bring the tail up from the bottom onto the round 13, at the bottom of round 13, and just bring it out. And then you're just gonna pull it and go into the stitch right next to it. Bring the needle back down to the bottom and give it a tiny tug. The indentation you can see there. For the next eye indentation, we're just gonna count six stitches away. And we're just gonna make a bit of a enlarging the hole over there so that you know where to bring your needle up to. Just bring your needle up, pull it through and down again right next to it. Now you just have to make a knot at the bottom to hold the indentations in place. Now let's make a French knot for the nose. You just have to cut a new strand of yarn of the same color of the skin and bring it up from the bottom of the head through to the center of the face and it should be on the same level as the eyes. Bring out and loop the yarn two times over the needle. Hold it tight and push through and you'll get a French knot. And then bring the yarn and needle back down to a stitch right next to it. You can knot it at the bottom later. Just give it a gentle pull. Don't pull too tightly or your nose will disappear into the head. To sew on the eyelids, we'll be using a black crochet thread. Just cut a short strand of black crochet thread and thread it through your darning needle. And go up from the bottom of the head onto the indentations that you made earlier. And it will be just about two stitches long. Just make a back stitch, a horizontal back stitch that is two stitches long. And you're just going to repeat it on the other side. Oops, my thread fell out of the needle. It's okay. Just thread it back and continue. You'll want the stitches to be a little bit loose for a curvier, less harsh look. Just make sure you don't pull too tightly and just knot it at the bottom. It will be nice to add some eyelashes and we'll be doing this with a thin sewing thread and also with a sewing needle. Be careful because the needle is very sharp. So right now we're just going to do three spaced out eyelashes. We're just going to always go back up from the bottom of the head and just go really near to the eyelid line. It's okay to pierce through the stitches when you're using this needle. So as long as it's spaced out quite well, it is okay.
Now we'll just move on to the other eye. You can either use a new strand of sewing thread or you can continue on with the same one. And you'll be doing the exact same thing, three spaced out lashes on the other side. And there you have it. Let's make the hair. For this, you just need to make a series of chains and SCs. Chain 8, chain 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Now you're just going to SC back all the way down. To add some texture, we'll just go into the back loops only from here. I'll meet you back here after we finish a few more rows. Okay, now we've finished the first side of the hair. We just want to add a little gap in between the bangs and what we'll do is just make another series of chains and continue on from there. Now the hair is done.
Let's try the hair out. I'm just going to put it right on top of the head. And let's pin it in place too. We'll just sew the hair in place. Thread the shorter strand of the yarn through to the back of the head. You use it to knot the yarn ends later. And now the longer strand, you can either make whip stitches or back stitches. Uh, it is okay, either one that you prefer, just as long as the hair is uh, secure in place. All these knotting of ends will actually help to make sure that none of the parts fall out later on when it is roughly handled. And there we have the bangs which will show through the hood later on. Let's make two pink cheeks and this is really the most simple pattern of all. It is just uh, five single crochets in a magic circle. I'd like to share a tip with you. Um, I like to clean fasten off to make certain pieces just a bit circular, more circular in shape. And what I do is I'll take the yarn end and I'll make it go through the both loops of the last stitch of the round. And then I will make it go through the back loop of the first stitch of the round. I'll just pull it through and then I will again Pull the thread up through the center of the magic circle earlier and thread it back down both loops of any stitch. I find that circular pieces will just look a bit rounder this way. Okay, now it's time to sew on the cheeks and all you have to do is just make simple whip stitches to attach the cheeks onto the face.
Repeat on the other side. And you're all done.